Welcome to Church Media Production, I'm Andrew and today we are going to go over how to use Photoshop on your iPad with the AstroPad application. So let's get started. So we're going to be using this application called AstroPad to get Photoshop onto the iPad. There will be a link in the description if you want to check it out. So you're going to need Photoshop open and then you're going to need the AstroPad application. Please go ahead and double click on that. That will basically start the application. And then you'll see here it says to open it up. You can do a USB option if you plug your iPad straight in or you can do it through wireless. So on the iPad we're going to go ahead and open up the application. And then it should auto detect it. What you'll see here is this box is the size that the iPad can see. So what you're going to want to do is take Photoshop and it might help if you kind of look at your iPad while you're doing this. And then you can kind of size Photoshop so that way all of your controls are in the center. So usually what I do is I make the window kind of tiny at first. And then you can kind of put it up in one corner and then go down to the other corner. Of course the placement here kind of just depends on whatever you're wanting to see. And then from there, if you go to the iPad, you can zoom out and zoom in by pinching your fingers move around everything that you can normally do with a touchpad or trackpad and then if we go ahead and we can click on the like the pencil tool you can see as you follow the line it'll let you draw depending on your connection speed you might have a better experience using the USB option but generally the the wireless option is perfect for what we need to do Depending on your pencils that you have selected, it is completely touch sensitive as you can see. And I'm using the Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro. If you go over to the application, this little round circle thing here, will, if you click it, it will bring up the option to switch between the pencil and the finger. So if you want to move stuff around with just your finger or the pencil, you can. And then you have all of these shortcuts here completely customizable. So you can go in here to the gear, you can edit shortcuts, and you can change them to whatever you want to do. And then you have your connection status, so you can kind of see what your quality is like. You get your settings. So you can turn off some of this stuff if you want it to be a little faster. And then if you need to see the full screen, you can always do this little option here, the mode, and then you can do full screen. They'll basically zoom you out so you can see everything. And 100% will snap it right back to where it was in the center of the screen. And so from there you can do whatever you need to do in Photoshop. Edit, resize. The studio version of the application does allow you to use your keyboard where the, um, the normal, the standard version does not. So that is one big difference between the two options. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to click the like button, hit subscribe, leave us a comment down below, and we will see you next time.